Since the Syrian civil war began, more than four million people have fled that country, leaving their entire lives behind them. And the stories we've heard have been heartbreaking. Remember the tragic stories of children who drowned attempting to reach Europe with their families. That's why, once it was concluded that we can do it safely and responsibly, the president announced a plan to resettle at least 10,000 Syrian refugees in the United States within the next year. Homeland Security Secretary Jay Johnson talking about resettling Syrian refugees here in our country on the White House website. This morning, Senator Jeff Sessions released a list of one dozen refugees who our government supposedly vetted, but who joined in plotting jihad attacks on the United States. Still, as pictures of refugees and their suffering come into our homes via television, we have a lot of impulsive thoughts on how we can help. So the question as we approach Thanksgiving is this, how do we reconcile Christian teachings to help others with the need to protect ourselves from harm? Let's talk about it more with two gentlemen who join us from Newsmax, Washington. We have a uh, center screen there, Mark Levecki, Managing Editor of Providence, a Journal of Christianity and American Foreign Policy and Screen Right. We have Mark Tooley, the President of the Institute on Religion and Democracy. Mark Tooley, first to you. We often speak of compassion, but what about this factor when others mean you harm? Well, that's uh, an excellent point, and unfortunately the problem has been um, many Christian leaders and uh, church leaders have been speaking out on the, uh, the Syrian refugee issue, as they have on many other issues, as though security is not a relevant concern to uh, the church and to Christians, and that we should instead um, love and uh, trust and not resort to what they call uh, fear. But in fact, Christianity has a long tradition of many centuries uh, in which uh, Christians do play a part uh, in affirming and participating in the security of the nation and of the state. And those teachings seem to be widely uh, disregarded. Well, uh, let me turn to Mark Levecki about this because uh, when I was in Bible study there at Congress, my favorite passage became in the Gospel when Jesus sends out the disciples two by two and says, you must be as wise as serpents and as innocent as doves. And so there has to be a, a measure of discernment, does there not? Yeah, absolutely. I, I agree with that completely. In many ways, I think the, uh, the, the casting of the decision or the choice to be made between one of compassion on the one side and security on the other is a false dilemma. It doesn't have to be one or the other. Uh, it's never going to be compassion to the nth degree. Uh, neither is it going to be justice to the nth degree, but both must be present. Both must be qualifying the other. I think there's a variety of ways for us to show uh, compassion uh, while maintaining uh, wisdom and prudence, uh, which are incumbent upon us as uh, citizens of America and, as you've said, as Christians. Uh, Mark Tooley, uh we have taken a look and there's been an evaluation made of refugees who have come into this country and thus far they have been uh, predominantly Muslim. Uh, would it, is there a compassionate argument to be made to give priority to Christians who are under attack? Well, uh, there again, many uh, Christian and church leaders have been openly uh, critical and opposing any kind of uh, so-called preference for uh, Christian um, refugees as though that would be religious uh, discrimination, but uh, the major issue before us is the fact that uh, the Christians of uh, Syria and from elsewhere in the Middle East literally have no place else to go. They have no patrons, they have no protectors, they're by and large not welcome and don't feel safe in the um, UN uh, refugee camps where so many of the other refugees are transiting through. And so uh, what are they to do? And theologically, spiritually, uh, doesn't the church have an obligation to have a, a special concern for fellow Christians around the world, because if uh, we aren't their friends, uh, who will be? Especially in view of existing law where there is, Mark Levecki, a religious test. 20 seconds to you, Mark, for the last word. I, yeah, I mean, I, I think some preference needs to be given to those who are particularly at risk, those groups, those individuals who are being singled out for particular acts of violence. Um, we see an uptick in the number of gay Syrians that are being brought into uh, the West, and that is premised presumably upon the fact that they are at risk. Um, that same kind of preference, while not discriminating against yeah, Muslims. Christians are at risk. Gentlemen, we'll have to end it there. Happy Thanksgiving, and we'll be back.